Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are interested in speaker design and improving sound quality, subscribe and join us. A high quality loudspeaker from the well known brand Tangband is 1337 SDF. I selected it for another simulation in Hornrisp and Akabox software. We compare the results of these two useful software. Watch this video till the end and do all these steps with me. Double click on SD. Then enter all the required specifications in Hornrisp. Now follow this direction and select Hypex with driver. The driver resonance frequency was 70 Hz, and according to the explained theory about bass horns, the second frequency is 70 times 4, or 280 Hz. If you remember, we designed an Excel file for Akabak. Since we want to compare Hornrisp and Akabak, this Excel file is all we need. You can download it via the link in the description. Designing an Excel file like this takes a lot of time, so we won't dive into its codes and commands, just use its output. S1 is the throat area, and S2 is the mouth area. Hip is the horn length in centimeters, which is in meters. In the Excel file, enter T as 0 0.5 then you can see the F12 is about 70 Hz, which is equal to the cutoff frequency. It could be a sign. To check if the entries are correct, type 0 for these two values. Perform a calculation and wait. This is the side view of the horn containing the front chamber. The horn response is ready. After these steps, we're going to compare the results of Hornrisp with Akabak. We need to simulate it in Akabak first. We've already made a template. If you haven't watched the videos, watch them once to create the template. The template is enough for all the bass horns we're going to design. In addition to many benefits, Akabak gives us a 3D shape of our design. On Akabak, select BEM tabs below and on the left. Select Rear Driver. Considering the cone area, the cone diameter will be 8.5 cm. The voice coil diameter is 2.5 cm. Considering the whole height, this part is about 2.5 cm. Since the voice coil diameter is 2.5, you can calculate DD1 or dust cap width as 3 centimeters. Note that this dome part is not the speaker dust cap, but we will model it with the long dust cap for now. Now do the same for the front cone. After that, enter the driver specs as I do. Note that we don't need to enter all the parts because the software calculates some of them automatically. At first glance, Akabak may seem complicated, but if you learn how to use it in practice, I promise you will just use it for all your designs. You can watch my tutorials to learn the basics of Akabak. Simulate your horn, speakers, enclosures, etc. The values of SD and QTS are really close to the driver specs, so the specs were entered correctly in Akabak. Now go to Software Worksheet. Type 10 for Smooth Factor.
paste every part you copy into the corresponding part in Akabak. With this method, you don't need any CAD software programs, and all the parts in reality are the same as this 3D simulation. If you have any advice to make the Excel file better, I will be happy to implement it on the file. Everything is clear and easy to do. Making an Excel file like this and the copy-paste process can be used for any given structure. Of course, it will be different for the other structures. Akabak can almost simulate all the known speakers, horns, speakers with specific parts like Dutch and Dutch 8C or KII3 and all the acoustic sources used on these speakers. The directivity plot provided by Akabak is close to reality, and it has many other benefits. In every step, you can see that every part is formed simply. I think the best way to make a 3D shape in Akabak is to use its inherent meshing system. As you know, the meshing system divides the shape into many triangles. And if the triangle sizes are very big, the shape won't have a clear structure. I've explained the meshing in my previous tutorials. You can try to make a folded horn with very cheap cost drivers and materials. After doing some successful experiments, select the expensive ones. Creating a good sound quality depends on selecting suitable drivers, correct simulating, and cost management. Maybe you say selecting the cheaper drivers may produce a lower sound quality. I should say a high quality driver mounted on a badly designed structure creates a lower sound quality than a cheaper driver mounted on a well designed structure. We never say that our designs are good, but they can help you learn and use Akabak more easily. The first step for designing a qualified speaker is to have an acceptable background in speaker design using software and theories. The theories are really useful in speaker design. If you try to make your speaker without noting the theories, the result won't be your desired sound quality. If you use theories in your design, your speaker response will be much better. Even famous speakers such as Dutch and Dutch 8C are designed based on strong theories about cardioid speakers. I will make some tutorials about these type of speakers. Now run the simulation button and wait. These are our output files. Drag them into Vax Viewer. This is the response of the design. Let's compare it with the result obtained by Hornrisp. The frequency at which the horn starts working is higher in Akabak. The null frequencies are almost the same in Akabak and Horn Resp. As you can see the low frequencies are amplified more in Horn Resp. The reason is that Horn Resp doesn't take into account the baffle loss while Akabak does. Now, let's compare the impedance responses. The impedance responses are almost the same too. Let's try to eliminate these fluctuations and extend the frequency to 70 Hz. Type 0.2 for damping value. In the Excel file, I select T as 0.2 and do all the steps as before. This is the result. You can see the fluctuations are eliminated and the response is extended to 90 Hz. To extend more, you can try a lower frequency in the Excel file and do the same as before to make the 3D shape. The frequency is extended to 80 Hz. You can try many values of damping, frequency, and T. Now bypass the horn to get the direct driver response on the baffle separately. The designed folded horn acts as an infinite baffle and compensates for the baffle loss. 